Hello all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 12 here on planet 26, and uh, we just completed getting back from creating a, a nickel mine and uh, harvesting a bunch of nickel and bringing it back with us, so we have the uh, let's see if we can figure out. The rain of mine is 9.3. That's the silver field. Uh, I think the... Let's see if we can get it here. Going around. There we go. Uh, yeah, the nickel mine is 42 kilometers away. And the ocean is there. And then our magnesium mine is 25 kilometers away. So that's... Not too bad, I guess, all things considering. But what I did notice is that there was, or used to be, some enemy bases out over that way. Uh, but they seem to have disappeared. So, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And in the last episode, on our way back, we did get attacked by some uh, uh, patrol drones. So, uh, we're already kind of been noticed in the eyes of the uh, Ember uh, Corporation. So uh, so today, what I uh, want to do is, well, I need to start expanding the base here. And I think what I want to do is put in uh, an assembly plant because I need to be able to uh, start building a uh, air platform, a hangar, and I want to do that off over in this area right over here. And so my plan is uh, I will build a hangar where I can build my drones, because I'm going to have to build drones to go and uh, secure and pick up the magnesium and the other ores that are out there uh, quite a ways away. Uh, those others are just a little too far for pipelines, so I'm uh, working on some drones. Actually, I, the company, uh, the Intergalactic Mining and Salvage Company, has sent me communications saying they are working on blueprints for a uh, automated drone. So, uh, once that's available, and I get the uh, uh, docking area set up, uh, I can uh, get those blueprints and start building on them. Uh, so to, that's what I want to do today. I want to start to kind of laying this out. Uh, I'll be running uh, pipelines over to here so that uh, when those drones land, they'll deposit the ores and it'll uh, funnel over to this cargo bay. Uh, this is kind of the staging area and uh, this uh, refinery has uh, taken care of the backlog that was in this cargo bin so you can see that it's pretty empty and so now the stone and the uh, uh, iron are going directly over to the refinery and it's processing it all just as fast as it can come in. So, uh, I'm not going to worry about building another refinery. But what I do want to get set up is an assembly, uh, an assembler, and get that uh, built. I'm probably going to put that in uh, probably somewhere right around here. Uh, put the assembler in right about here. And then I also want to get over here and uh, start finishing up on uh, my power grid. So I still have a few batteries left to build. So I'm going to be building those off and on. Matter of fact, while we're here, let's go ahead and just get uh, what I need. Uh, do I have one that's actually... I do. I have one that's already... So let's do that, and then we can go back over to the uh, main uh, planet rover and start collecting supplies and get that built out. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, keep working away here.
All right, well, here we go. Uh, I have, I actually finished this uh, one battery over here. So we're gonna just kind of do these one at a time. Uh, so I did get it uh, built and it's charging. And so that gives us six. So I have six left to build over here. And we'll steadily work on that. Uh, once I get that assembly plant done, uh, then I think I'm going to have to go back and finish up. I'd like to finish up the power grid and get as much of that done. But here's what I've got going over here. So I didn't want to just build flat out. I kind of want to add a little bit of interest to this. So I started, I raised the assemblers up. And so this is going to be another level to the base. And so I've run a a set of pipes from here. I'm going to put a pipe cap on the end of that. So this is coming out of the processed ingots so that the assemblers can pull the ingots in and then they can just pull them in and it's a one way. So the ingots will not be able, or the, the finished products up out of the assembler will not be able to come back through this away. Uh, what I am going to do is have another storage container uh, maybe, uh, maybe it'll be ground level, I'm not sure. Uh, but I will put another storage container that will uh, branch off of these guys out here. And uh, that will be my main parts cargo container. So they'll uh, flow all of that into there. That way I'm not having parts scattered all over the base. And I'm trying to set up a structured flow through the, the system. Now I thought I was going to have to build another refinery but the fact that that refinery has processed everything coming in through there so it's the, so those resource nodes are not bringing in the uh, resources as quick as I would like it but we do have a huge supply of iron and uh, we are seems to have plenty of uh, silicon coming in from the stone and the fact that we have a nickel plant. All right, so I'm going to continue to build this on up and we'll uh, kind of take it from there. All right, we are continuing to build away here. So what I've gotten done to this point, I've got the well, I'm getting the platform built. I decided to build just two assemblers right at the moment. And I've got the guardrails and the catwalks and everything up. They're all connected in. I just haven't built this one out yet. Uh, but it is all connected in. So when it is ready to start building, I can start setting up queues. Uh, I've already got queues set up in these, so I've been able to start pulling materials from these now so I don't have to run back over to the planet rover for everything. Uh, I'm currently working on getting these connected in so that uh, they're once they uh, uh, produce a certain amount of uh, uh, items and this will give them a place to push those items to so that uh, they don't uh, fill up their inventories. Uh, and so now, uh, let's see. Oh, I've also started laying out. Let's get over here. I've also started kind of laying out where I want to start putting in my uh, drone base. Uh, I am going to elevate it as well. Uh, probably fill in, probably come out fill into here maybe I'm not sure I'll have to maybe do some redesigning but I'm gonna to have to have room for at least five different drones coming in uh, I'll have nickel uh, silicon uh, uranium uh, silver and magnesium that will have to be shuttled by drone and so those will be going out and picking up uh, the ores at the different mining operations and bring them into here 
and then those will unload and go into that container which will be processed through that refinery uh, and shouldn't have a problem keeping up I'm going to end up putting some modules on this uh, speed module so this one refinery probably will be able to handle it because for the time that it'll take for those drones to go out and come back with their loads uh, it should be able to process most of that ore coming in uh, let's see what else do I have here going on uh, I've got to now I put these pillars in uh, I kind of like the looks of the way they are as opposed to finishing them uh, these look a little more industrial like and so that's probably what I'll leave uh, leave them as and once we start salvaging I'm going to have a connector on the top of this thing and so I'll have a drone shuttling back parts from the old mining settlement that will start uh, salvaging so those will start coming in over here uh, which will be something I'm probably going to be getting close to setting up here pretty soon so uh, and then I'm going to have a pipeline coming out of here a conveyor system coming out of here that will come over to where I'm building the hangar over there and that's where I'll be uh, producing my drones and so I'll need that connected in to here so that uh, I hope to be able to put uh, build a printer uh, using welders to create and build my drones so uh, I was just on my way over to grab some more cobalt over here and uh, so let me do that I am uh, gaining on this thing here I think uh, so I still obviously got to put the supports in for this I've already I've got the pipeline laid out for the parts so that I can have parts over to here and so I just got to build it all out but that's gonna come through here now I connected connected that in so that my power is still connected to the uh, base over here so everything will keep functioning and now I am started to kind of get an idea of what I wanted to lay out for my hangar bay for my uh, drones so I think I still got to go wider I think I've still got to come down uh, down here uh, again I've got uh, five or six drones that's going to be coming in and out of here and also this is where I'm going to be building them uh, so I've got to come quite a ways out uh, I was just trying to avoid this here uh, I need to figure out how to remove that I might have to go into creative to get rid of that uh, so pulling you know building this out uh, I am going to have basically a set of stairs coming up to here and uh, and then this will end up setting up to be a you know droid facility uh, so that's where we're at at this point I've got to go and get some more cobalt uh, I think I'll just run over there in the little scooter here uh, actually you know what I got to do first I've got to uh, uh, leave ah come on uh, let me get rid of some of this steel here this will go pretty quickly And then uh, we'll go get some more cobalt. We'll go check out the old mine over there. And maybe there's some stuff that we can actually get. I've got an idea. Actually, I've got a blueprint that I've already made for uh, my uh, salvage ship. 
So, uh, probably I might even work on that in the next episode. Uh, so that'll be one thing that we can get rid of. Let me just throw all of this stuff right here. And so let's, uh, let's take a little ride over to the mining village and see what, uh, how that shows. Uh, basically I just want to grab some more cobalt. I don't have a lot, I don't have much in the way of storage on here, but I still got the seed, I've got the, uh, uh, come on, there we go. But this is a little bit quicker uh, to get over there. So, it kind of looks like the, uh, Ember facilities have left. Not sure why. Maybe after I shot their drones down, maybe they uh, got a little more concerned. Figured I better not get too close to the old commander here. Anyway, uh, I think we can kind of check this place out down here a little bit. I know there's a lot of stuff that we can uh, salvage down here. I am... Uh, the only thing I'm going to do here is mine some cobalt. And actually, you know what? I think I made a marker for it where I've already got the mine. Let's... Uh, yeah, let's turn that on. And... Yeah, it's right over here. Well, let's run over here to the... Uh, see what we got. It looks like a lot of stuff. I see some uh, down ships. Let's see. Let's uh, hop out here. This looks like it's... Uh, I don't know if any of this stuff is even salvageable. Well, I mean, it's all salvageable, but I don't know if I could uh, actually maybe rebuild some of this stuff. Uh, let's see what we got in here. It's got a passenger seat. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, the ore detector is good. That's good. That's incomplete. Let's see what else is here. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff that's here. All right, let's see if I can get out of here. Yeah. There's that. Oh, there's a sky factory up there. An old antenna. There's a lot of materials in there that we can harvest. Let's go over here to the... Uh, this looks like... Uh, well, there's an old, an old ship, an old rusted ship. Oh, let's park this thing here. Let's hop out. Yeah, look at that old. I mean, a lot of materials. So we're gonna have fun salvaging this stuff. What do we got? What all does this have? I see a lot of, you know what, those are uh, yield modules, there's a speed module. I could use that on the, uh, uh, on my current uh, setup down there, so 
I could really do a lot of salvaging here. Let's see what else we got. There's a turret. Yeah. This might be very useful when I'm out of nickel again. Uh, so that uh, might be... So two things I've got to do So next for the next episode. But let's go over here and get some more cobalt. Two things i got to do on the next episode is get started on the drones. And... Uh, uh, maybe get started on the salvage ship. I think that would probably be a good idea. That'll help give us parts and stuff. And where is my mine? Right, uh... Right here? Yeah, right here. All right, let's park this. I was hearing some creaking. Yeah, that should be fine. All right. Well, let me go start drilling some cobalt. All right, I think we can start heading back. I've probably got as much uh, cobalt as I can. I can't put much more into the... T I thought I had more storage on here than I do. I might have to try to put a maybe a medium cargo tank on the back. And maybe a couple more wheels on here. And that... Uh oh, hostile. Where, where are you at? Oh, you're off over that direction. I see you. All right. Uh, where's base? Back this away. So yeah, I think uh, the base is coming along pretty good uh, with what we've gotten accomplished the last uh, couple of days out. Uh, so I think we're gaining on it. And, uh, I think I, yeah, I can see the base off in the distance over there. Got the pipeline going. It's not hit anything. Okay. Yeah, I was uh, using quite a bit. I, the metal grates take cobalt, so and I just didn't have that much left in the uh, Planet Rover, so that's when I had to go and get some cobalt. So let's get this thing here parked. We'll hop out. Let's throw this over into the... We'll get this into... I think I can uh, get into the refinery from here. Oh, the refinery... There it is. There we go. And actually... It'll give the, uh, give these things something to, to do, actually. It just had such little bits coming in at a time. That's still all going over to the refinery. All right, well, let's kind of recap. I think this is about what we're going to call it today. It's getting close to about 30 minutes. Uh, we've got started on the drone platform and hangar. 
Uh, I'm going to hope to get that done next time and then to get started building on some drones so that we can start uh, sending them out. Uh, we got the assembly done. Uh, or at least as done as much as I wanted to. I left this undone right at the moment because we don't really need all three of them going. So uh, until I can get uh, a lot more materials coming in, there was no reason to, to build that third one. We've got two of them set up and they're all plumbed in to uh, a cargo container, which uh, this cargo container, I am going to put a connector up on top. Uh, we're gonna have to build up uh, catwalks and stuff up around to get up there. But uh, as I was mentioned earlier, that's where we will be uh, salvaging and so our salvage ship is going to have to have a place to come in and dump its uh, materials so they'll go into here and then we can always add a second cargo container uh, built out if we start getting more uh, materials than we need well I think that's about going to wrap it up if you uh, like this video please hit that thumbs up it really helps the video out a lot and please subscribe, that really helps the channel. Alright all you space engineers out there, keep building away, keep your heads low and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching everyone.